Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Today we're featuring one of the most unusual vehicles to stop by at the garage. You know, since we got this website, more and more people have come by with unusual, unusual vehicles. And uh, the English have always been a bit uh, eccentric. It doesn't get any more eccentric than this. Uh, let's meet Tim Cottrell. Tim, come on in here. How you doing, mate? Nice to meet you, Jay. Good, Good to, to meet you. Buddy. Now, this is... Uh, My obvious... baby. Well, you know, it's interesting. I thought it was... A four-wheel vehicle, but that's actually one wheel in the front with two tires on it. Isn't that's it? a giant piece of aluminum, 750-pound block of aluminum, 26 inches diameter by 18, machined for 10 days, and it's turned into that beautiful dually wheel with two 24-inch Metzler tires. Now I know she didn't say aluminium like they do over there. Have you switched to I've the American way? I've adjusted to the American ah, way. Good to the American way. Good. To, we'll turn them over. <laughs> yeah, good to see you, lad. Now this is, <laughs> I couldn't imagine driving something like this in England. You'd have to come to America to drive this. You Nowhere get, else in the world. You couldn't you? get this on the road no, in England. No. no, no. Besides being so outrageous, if you look carefully, you see there's some just terrific, terrific workmanship as well. This motor, it's a Hemi motor. Dual plug? Dual plug, the ultimate holy grail of drag racing engines. Yeah. This is a John Arosa, a purpose built for this machine, 1,000 horsepower, blown Hemi, 16 plug blown Hemi. 16 plug blown Hemi, very good. And does it run on pump gas? You have to run... 91 octane pump gas. 91 octane pump gas, okay. And look at this uh, front wheel here, the way this is built. This is, is that called, a center hub? Is that what you call it? This that? is called center hub steering. Yeah. I wanted the front to be low, so right. we've designed all this center hub front steering. It's all uh, box section quarter plate uh, steel welded to form those giant arms. And what is that disc break off of? That's a bare custom... 15 inch disc with a six pot caliper. Now, you, if you wonder how Tim can afford all these things, he got famous making these uh, frogs, right? That's your design. I've seen these in stores and in, in artist shops, and you, you, that's sort of your trademark, isn't it? I am the frog man, the world right. famous frog man now. And I right. came to America in 1990, broke, started doing these frogs, and I thought maybe they'll scratch a living out for me. And they've taken off and they're in nearly every home now. People love these things. You, you can buy them in every gallery all across America and all around the world now. That's right. <coughs> if some of this workmanship looks familiar, our friends, uh, the Blastoline guys, Randy Grubb, who uh, designed my tank car, and, and Michael Leeds, Michael right? Leeds, yes. Uh, did Michael build this for you? Michael built this for me. Mm -hmm. I went to him with my designs and drawings, right. and he fabricated the whole thing. As you can see, the passenger looks much more comfortable in the sketch and it would be in real life. This is a well-known trike in the UK, the Rocket One. I mean, I'm an artist. It's the proportions of trikes that usually look so hideous. Right, right. This and one, I wanted the proportions just right and we've got it perfect. People don't realize how much actual engineering goes into something like this. I mean, on one hand, it looks outrageous. But to be outrageous and make it work is a whole different story. Is it a uh, Chrysler Torque Flight transmission? It's a Torque Flight three-speed shift. Right. And all you need is to put it into drive, Jay. Okay. It has so much horsepower, I can break these hides away at 60. Right. Okay, now, do you, uh, is it fully automatic? You have to shift it semi-automatic. I can go one, two, three, or, or D. Just put it, but there's so much horsepower. Yeah. I mean, does there's have, no need to shift. Does it have reverse gear? It's got reverse, reverse gear. Reverse gear as well. Oh, yeah. It's, and uh, uh, look where the dashboard is right here. The dashboard nicely integrated there. What we did with that, Jay, we molded it into the supercharger to make the blower look bigger. And if you look at the speedometer, it will go that fast, but not with me on it. No, no. Maybe you, Jay. Not with me on it. Let's see. How do you get in this thing? Put your foot there, keep it as close to the body, and then cock your leg over. Okay. That's the easiest way. All right, let's try this. Put your foot up and close to the body. Up and close. And then up in here. Yeah. Hello. And you can see how comfy it is, Jay. Yeah, very comfortable. <laughs> now, how often do you get stopped? The cops stop you in this the thing? The cops will often stop me and they'll walk over all aggressive. Well, we've got one here, we're going to nail him. I get talking to them and then they go, ah, and they soften up. Right. And not one cop has ever asked me to see the paperwork. Wow. Well, that's going to yeah, end I do have right all the, now. I do have all the paperwork. I see. And now, so this steering, Jay, it's not one-to-one. -one. It's right. on a cam system. So right. you turn this a little bit more than the steering because there's two tires with a lot of gotcha. drag. It took them weeks to develop this. Under here is full of the fuel tank and the MSD boxes and right. the steering. It's and a lot more technical. How many gallons are you holding here? Not enough. Not enough, yeah. When I first took it for a run, I called the engine builder and I said, look, John, I'm getting terrible mileage, I'm getting three to the gallon. He said, don't worry, when it's broken in, you'll get four. Yeah, so there you are. So now you're up to four. All right, four. very good. But it's worth every penny, Jake. What do you hold, 10 gallons? It's a little bit more, a little not bit much more. more. But after about uh, 60 miles, you want to get off it anyway. 
Right. Yeah. You yeah, need a so shot of whiskey. Okay, so you got your and a shot of whiskey. That cops will love that. <laughs> so, uh, but as you can see, the brakes are inboard. That's nicely done. Um, this is actually a Kugel component, so the top yeah. top of the line back axle, German. And this is for your passenger here. Yes, it's not a very comfortable position, no, Jay. No, no. Okay, very cool. Well, and and it looks like you use sort of off-the-shelf motorcycle stuff. Yeah, here. these are actually Harley Harley, Harley grips. Pieces, yeah. Yeah. Your uh, brake works both your front and back. All the brakes. And oh, I've, I've not got a line lock yet, but I'm going to put okay. one on. You have your pedal high or your pedal low? Yeah, so that's for the emergency. I can't lock up all the wheels, so it's, right, it's got, right, fun. Right. It's got the best of every you component. Shift here, correct? Yes. Okay. But once you put it in D, you're done. Right, I see. Yeah, just put it in D. It's, not, it's just D and twist. So park is all the way up? Park is all the way forward. All the way forward. I've got my little reminder here, Jay. For the electric cutouts, up is open. It's a okay. little switch. Well, let's uh, fire it up, see how she goes. How do we start it? Okay, push that lever all the way forward. Lever Make sure you're in park. All the way forward. Okay, you've got on, and then you've got your fuel and your petrol pump. This is the lights. Right. It all lights up blue underneath, as you can see. Right. And then this is the fans. Yeah. We don't need the fans just yet. So if you That's press... Right, so when you're driving, you want to sell all the stuff before you leave. It's a little oh, yeah, hard. so once you've got those switched on, you're all right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Boy, very smooth motor. Now, there's a little switch just here, Jay. Pull that up, pull that all the way up. And then give it some stick. Close it down, Jay, you'll see how quiet it goes. Well, it's amazing how smooth that motor is. It doesn't vibrate it's much very at all. Smooth. And the kill switch is that way. There we go. Yeah. Boy, it it's not warmed up yet. It doesn't vibrate hardly at all. Well, no. We, uh, let's, uh, let's see you take it for a ride. He's going to drive it. It's, yeah. it's one of these deals. He's got a lot invested in this. I, he doesn't want me killing myself. No. He can kill himself. I don't so think we, your avocados are big enough, Jay. No, he's going to take it out and I'll uh, let him do it. All right, good luck. All right, Jay, wish me luck, Jay. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's, that's a real helmet. But yeah, this will save me. It'll protect you. $20 Kmart. You don't want to put a $300 helmet on a 10 cent head. You don't want to do that. It's not a good idea. All right, knock him out. The neighbors are starting to show up. <laughs> we gotta get out of here before the neighbors start complaining. Thanks Tim, for everything, thank you, Jay. My Pleasure to meet you, Jay. Good luck. I had a good fun. He's going off now to fight crime. <laughs> See you next week.